Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Smith. I'm a thoracic surgeon at St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center in Phoenix, Arizona. I want to take a few moments to talk about end-stage lung disease or lung failure. Lung failure is a crippling disease from which millions of people all over the country suffer. The causes of lung failure are quite diverse, but the most common are emphysema, secondary to smoking, and many other non-smoking related processes such as pulmonary fibrosis, cystic fibrosis, which is, which is a genetic disorder, emphysema, secondary to alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, another genetic disorder, and pulmonary hypertension, as well as bronchiectasis, which is a chronic lung infection. Most people are treated initially with medications depending upon their disease process, as well as oxygen therapy and pulmonary, pulmonary rehabilitation to improve the ability to cope with uh, chronic lung disease. However, many people continue to deteriorate despite aggressive medical therapy. In these instances, we consider surgical therapy for chronic end-stage lung disease. The two basic types of surgical therapy for end-stage lung disease are lung transplantation and lung volume reduction procedures for selected cases of emphysema. Lung transplantation as a procedure is typically offered to patients who are failing medical therapy and would conceivably only survive one to two years without a more radical approach to therapy. Common contraindications for lung transplantation include other organ failure, such as the heart, kidney, or liver failure, uncontrolled infection or cancer, and ongoing smoking. Most patients will benefit from a single or double lung transplant, but there are some patients that should only be offered double lung transplants, and these are patients with chronic infections, such as bronchiectasis and cystic fibrosis and typically patients with pulmonary hypertension receive double lung transplants as well. Although lung transplantation can greatly improve a patient's life, there are drawbacks, and that is the need for lifelong immunosuppression or anti-rejection drugs, which are used to keep the recipient from rejecting the newly transplanted lungs. Immunosuppression can lead to some unwanted side effects such as infection, kidney failure, hypertension, diabetes, and increased risk for cancer. However, in well-selected patients, the benefits of lung transplantation greatly outweigh the risks. The second type of surgical therapy for end-stage lung disease is lung volume reduction surgery, or LVRS, for emphysema. In this procedure, the most severely diseased lung tissue is removed from the patient in order to improve the mechanics of breathing, decrease the work of breathing, and improve gas exchange. This procedure has been shown to be effective in very carefully selected patients who have disabling emphysema despite intensive medical management, severe airflow limitation, and surgically accessible target areas of most severely affected lung tissue. LVRS has an advantage over lung transplantation in that no immunosuppression is required. However, functional benefit is much smaller compared to lung transplantation. In summary, End-stage lung disease can be a debilitating illness that can progress through medical therapy. However, surgical therapy such as lung transplantation and lung volume reduction surgery can offer significant improvements in exercise capacity and quality of life in carefully selected patients. Thank you for your time, and if you have further questions, please call 1-877-602-4111.